So this isn't really a video that I intended to make. I was just gonna make a review video on a Les Paul special. Um, and then things kind of went a little sideways. Um, and so I was just gonna scrap it. I was just not gonna do it. But then I was like, no, this is something that I, I do need to talk about. Um, so let's just go back to the beginning when I first got the guitar. Some people will tell you that the best day of their life was when they got married or when they graduated college or when they had their first child. But those people are extremely wrong. Because the best day, as we all know, is New Guitar Day. This seems a little unnecessary. Okay, before I play this, uh, full disclosure, I am a massive Fender fanboy, in particular, you know, the, the Telecaster. Yeah, that's right. I even have a Telecaster mouse pad. That is just my absolute favorite guitar of all time. I tell people that I pray to Leo every night before I go to bed. Um, and so I've never really wanted to own a Gibson. They've just, uh, I don't know, I've always just associated it with like the dad rocker thing. Um, and like dentists who own Harley Davidson's. I, I don't know, that's probably stupid, but that's just kind of how it's always been for me. But the Les Paul Special, I don't know. It's, every time I've ever seen one, I'm like, that is awesome. Never played one, never picked one up, never thought about buying one, but I love P90s and Tony at Sweetwater, who, uh, shout out to Tony, um, was just awesome to work with. And so I, I picked one up and this is not sponsored or not an ad. They don't know I'm making this video, nothing like that. So we're gonna give it a, a little whirl here and see how it goes. I don't have any real expectations other than, you know, I hope it plays nice and I have a Gibson, even though you shouldn't because you already own the perfect guitar. Anyway. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. Mother of Zeus, I was not expecting that at all. Um, wow. Wow, this, okay, I really enjoy this. So let's, um, let's walk through the pickups and just kind of hear how it sounds.
All right, let's talk pros and cons of the Les Paul Special. I'm gonna start with the pros because one, there's a lot more of them. And then two, the cons, there's kind of one huge one. <laughs> Number one pro is that the guitar is super versatile. I mean, it will do anything that I can think of and way more, um, like way more. Having tone and volume for each pickup, you know, uh, that's a new experience for me and it's a ton of fun because you know you can roll the volume off of one and like get that kill switch effect which is super fun to do and it will just go from sweet and clean to just howling filthiness anytime you want um, it's just so good at anything number two i love the neck it is fat it's a thick neck but i love it you know it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be in terms of size you know it's not that like 50s full-on just huge baseball bat thing but it's not the slimmer 60s version either. It's kind of in the middle, um, but it's become one of my favorite necks to play. I'm not like a speed player or even like a, a good player. So for me, like I just want something that's comfortable um, and that I can play and I do a lot of chording and that kind of stuff. And so I don't want to, like my hand to cramp up because I'm trying to like fight with a neck. And this one just does a, an amazing job. Um, and the binding on it is just incredibly smooth. It feels super good to play. I, I love this neck. Number three, I love P90s. It's my favorite pickup. Um, you know, I'm a single coil person myself. I just like them the best. And these just kind of have that girth and roundness and chunk to them that I really, really like. And again, they'll do anything. Number four, hey, I shop with my eyes just like the next person and TV yellow is permanently cool. It will always be cool. It's just such a rad guitar. And the nitro finish, um, you know, you can see some of the grain, even in the back of the neck, you see some of it. I mean, I, every time I see this guitar, I just want to pick it up and play it. Number five is sustain. Um, this might be the most alive guitar. I mean, it's the most alive guitar that I own and maybe the most alive guitar that I've ever played. Like when you hit a chord, you just feel a whole thing vibrate. I mean, I can feel that in my forearm and in my hand you know, up here, the whole thing vibrates. I love it. And finally, price. I know, you know, Gibson, you know, takes a lot of flack for the cost of their guitars. I don't complain about that stuff because I, I go, some things, like I can't afford a Ferrari. Is it Ferrari's problem that I don't make enough money to buy their car? No, but for this, the Les Paul Special, I have no problems with their pricing at all. It's an American made nitro finished guitar that plays incredibly well and sounds awesome. And if you want to knock a couple hundred bucks off, you know, get a demo model like I did. They are, I think, for what for what they are, incredibly well-priced. Okay, let's get into cons. There's only two. One, tuning. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Uh, it doesn't stay in tune nearly as well as like my telly. Um, you know, I think the nut could be cut better. It needs a little bit of work. And the biggest con, which has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of the guitar directly, is that, you know how when you really kind of love something and you get a little bit emotionally invested, it sort of becomes part of your identity. The Telecaster is that for me in terms of playing guitar and that I've just loved that guitar forever. I love how it sounds. I think it's just timeless and amazing and Leo is just a genius. I love that guitar so much and now there's this and I come into the room and I keep picking it up. Ah. You know, when you play that game, like if your house is on fire, which guitar would you rush in to save? No. You know, a few months ago, that answer was extremely obvious. It was like the Telecaster. I don't care about anything else. The Tele. And now, dude, don't know. Don't do it. I don't know. I think I'd have to save the, you know what? I don't have to listen to this anymore.